All right, folks. This will have to be a part two to the video talking about Jesus saves, does he? Yeah. The reason why is because a number of people would have been offended by that. Did I know they were going to be? Yes. But to be honest, I wasn't really speaking to them anyway. Because my videos are not to people that are not of God. They're to people that are of God. But hey-ho. So, <laughs> right. Okay. There's a number of points I didn't mention in that video that I'll mention in this one. Then. First of all, the people who are on the crosses next to Yeshua, they weren't beaten, they weren't scourged. If scourged is the word. Um... They didn't have their muscles and their bones and their every part of their anatomy basically smashed to pieces by the equivalent to police batons. And then body cut to pieces by whips with basically claws in it um, to tear the piece, pieces, the skin, the muscles and tear ligaments from their areas and The reality is, your idea. To, now I suggest other people do this. Do communion for a whole month, and every time you do communion, ask God to lead you in what to say about the body and what to say about the blood. Because when I did that, Father gave me a bit of an understanding of what the Lord went through, and to understand that no human, ever, pure human, yeah, apart from the Son of God, but no human could have gone through what he went through no human could have gone through that when they did the film the passion they actually came out and said they did not show the fullness of what he went through because it'd be too horrific and yet with what they show every Easter I watch that film the passion and yeah when I see him fall down for the second time and see everything that he went through it's horrendous absolutely horrendous but God showed me that no human being apart from him could have gone through that none and I've shared before part of the reason why he went through it is because he was able to keep his focus on Father and not focus on what was going on. Sometimes he would have focused on what was going on, but most of the time, no, he had his focus on Father because without that, he couldn't have gone through it. And we see at his baptism, you see Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. The reason why you see Father, Son and the Holy Spirit is because he needed the other two. From the point of baptism, he was being prepared for what he had to go through. He needed the help of Father and Holy Spirit to go through that. So therefore, everything he did was done with the Father and the Holy Spirit. So therefore, to say that Jesus saves is demonic. Because it is saying that no Father, no Holy Spirit. You don't need Father and Holy Spirit. That's what that's saying, that teacher. It's saying you don't need the other two. And that's wrong. It's a lie. If he needed the other two, then we most certainly do as well. And I think Jesus saves come from this point of um, well, certainly a lot of people's objection to me questioning that comes from the point of once saved, always saved, which is also a lie. Although it's true, but the problem is what once saved actually means is not necessarily what, think, what people think it means. You know, going forward in a meeting, it means nothing. nothing it, could, it could be the start of your journey. But it may very well mean nothing at all. 
But actually, it doesn't mean the start of your journey. Why? Because when you were born, that was the start of your journey. That was the start of your journey with God, even though you didn't know God. Or you, you'd forgotten God, is more the point. So going forward in a meeting? No, I'm sorry. No. That certainly doesn't mean you're saved. Because the Lord talks about the types of ground that it falls upon. So we know that doesn't mean you're saved. It means you might be. It doesn't mean you are. But of course, as I said at the start, yeah, I'm not speaking to those who are not of God. What would be the point of me speaking to tares and asking tares to understand the word of God? They won't understand the word of God. They're not put in church for that purpose. They're put in church to actually you know, divert the church into onto a different path, a path that is not of God. So why would I try to persuade them? I'm not, I'm not going to try and persuade anyone. Because those people of God will recognise it anyway. I'm not saying the lady who asked me the question the other day, um, or today, I'm not saying that person is not of God, because I don't know. But I can certainly say she's showing a lack of understanding. Which again, that's okay. It is okay, because I was there. I can't say it's wrong for her to be there because I was there. And I can't say that God isn't doing something in her life because he might be. I'm not going to try and judge her in any way, shape or form. Apart from to say at the moment her understanding is lacking. Because it is. You know, she said that by, by the title of my channel, I'm trying to basically say that I'm the same as Yeshua. Uh, no, because Yeshua is the Son of God, the Son of God, capital A, capital T, capital S. We are a Son of God. Each of us is a Son of God. Son being not capital, because there's only one, the Son. But again, have understanding. Why would Yeshua say you pray to our Father? He said our Father, which means he's our Father as well as his. That can't be the case if we're not sons, can it? Yeah, my annoyance there is annoyance for me because for many years I didn't see it. And I'm still, I haven't got over the fact that I didn't see it for all those years. Because when I get annoyed about that, I'm saying, how did I not see that? For years I didn't see it or understand it. I might have seen it to a certain degree, but I certainly didn't understand it. <sighs> we are where we are. That is the reality. We are where we are, and that's okay. Because we can't be anywhere other than where we are right now. And anyone who's listened to the fullness of this video knows that I'm not judging. I'm not judging anyone. Yeshua said that tares were sown in amongst the wheat. I'm not saying that. He said it. His words. I'm just reminded he said that, so therefore I'm not speaking to those people, am I? Yeah, because those people are in the church, because he said they are. Right? There you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Be a blessing. Bye-bye.